Welcome to The Big Fish. I'm Captain C.T. Williams. I'm a pumped Captain C.T. Williams. I'm down in Delacroix, Louisiana with you here, and we are headed out of the Sweetwater Marina right behind us, going fishing with Captain Jack. No pain, no gain. I think it's going to be a good day. We've got good conditions. We've got water that has finally settled out after a very odd year, uh, atypical year for, for uh, conditions, but everything seems to be just right. So, have I jinxed us? Well, we'll find out in 30 minutes, of course. Before that 30 minutes is over, we'll head on down to the Big Fish Kitchen and see what's cooking. And Captain Jack has promised to give you every single one of his fall spots, as well as the tips and techniques and how-tos that he uses to catch those fish. I might share a few of mine, too. So come on, let's go fishing. So, first we can't even see where we're gonna fish today. Jack's got us in the thickest of the fog. <laughs> then, so I can't even get his spot. Then I said, well, Jack, what are you fishing with? And my fishing buddy, he says, well, uh, you know, I said, well, we're gonna do live shrimp on a popping cork? Ah, uh, you know, I did it uh, with, with artificial yesterday, and I did catch a bunch on the bottom, so he won't even tell me what he's gonna start with. He is absolutely setting a new standard for a fishing friend this morning. Come on, what are we gonna do, Jack? We're gonna catch fish. We're gonna catch. <laughs> What's this we thing? <laughs> you know I'm gonna catch the first one. I I understand. I'm, I'm trying to clear my deck so I can get up in the I'll front and make working, that first catch. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm working gonna, hard to catch that. I'm first not even trout. going with this. We need. I'm going live shrimp. Then I'll go with my artificial. Where we at, Jack? In the middle of a lake. <laughs> I can't see. We there yet? Almost, son. Hold on. <laughs> I can't wait. I hear them. Listen. Mm -hmm. You hear them? We done passed them up. I oh, know. They're back behind us. Turn around. You want to go to the sound? The they sound? Going, they going, no, to the sound of what's making the noise. Oh. They diving right now. Back here? Mm-hmm. We'll follow him, look. We'll follow him to the <laughs> He's on his way. <laughs> Hang on. Whoa, hold up. Whoa, whoa. So, we, so we found ourselves deep in the fog, and we were going to a spot, but when we turned the engine off, you could hear the birds barking at each other and diving. So we kind of outsmarted ourselves trying to find the birds. <laughs> They're in here somewhere. <laughs> you just can't see them. Wait, stop the motor on this. I'm about to. All right, all right, so like, like, shh, 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 shh. Straight ahead. Let's see. Everybody look, all the, all the seagulls are hauling butt. There he goes. Hold up, wait up, we coming. I don't know, they might be doing circles too, Jack. <laughs> Can you hear that? They're like right here. Oh Lord. Oh look, that somebody somebody else been playing our game. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh look, that somebody somebody else been playing our game. <laughs> No, man, we got robbed. <laughs> That's good. Let them scare them towards us. Oh, I think we got a keeper. I think we got a keeper. <laughs> Feeling pretty good. Still oh, 23 feet behind him. Feeling pretty good. Open the box, Jack. One, two, three. Watch. <laughs> Hey, you want to know what number this is? Yeah, I already know. Number one. Well, we, we finally set a new standard in television. We finally <laughs> caught the first one. <laughs> Don't make me check my bait, aren't you? Yeah. Oh no, but he keeps. Da 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 da. -da. I think I was doing something. Hey, I'm gonna called put the, the pole down. Pop right there, Jack. I'm gonna put the pole down. All right. You got the mode on? Yeah, I'm gonna turn it down. Get this fish in the box. 
Don't try to distract me when I'm catching big, solid 14-inch speckled trout right here in Fog Lake. <laughs> That's a yep. That's a yep right there. Fishing so good, it's scary. <laughs> Back up out. <laughs> kind of skipping in here. Kind of skipping. Oh, good fish, just not a fighter. Get back. Dang, damn it. Good fish. Ooh. <laughs> Under. Take a you're under, Jack. Take Jack, you're under. It's a butterscotch. It's, it's a hard candy instead of something gooey yeah. and juicy. Uh, oh, it's a god off fish. Ooh, but this isn't. This is going to oh, This is going to be good. You got a freaking three like musketeer. Snickers bar. No, candy three corn. Musketeer. That's a three musketeer. Yeah. <laughs> One, two, three. Yay, daddy. That's what I'm talking about. It's a little bigger than you probably need, but it's doing the job. And it's a keeper. That's a beautiful fish. Very nice. All right, we got a few fish in the boat. We got a hot spot that we don't even know where it is. Fog is starting to break, sun's coming up, things are getting even better. You take a quick two minute and 30 second break today and uh, We'll have more after this. That's a good one. Make the rod. Uh-oh, he's on the spot now. He's on Yonder. the spot. I don't have a cork. <laughs> okay, you keep it up. That's right, look at him. Now he's got a little run going. And, oh yeah, pretty one. So spots two, three, four, and five didn't exactly pan out. Tide's gone out pretty hard. We're finding a lot of shallow water in a lot of the places that we go. Hey, before you do that, don't give up yet. We're gonna hit that bank. I got it. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna probably go run down and see if we can't find one more spot. But while we get out of this uh, mud flat right here, you take a run down to the Big Fish Kitchen and see what's cooking. We're gonna need a minute. <laughs> All right, today at GW Fins, we're gonna be preparing a fish that you may, may have never seen. If you have seen, you probably pulled it up in the boat and somebody said, you know, put that back, that's no good. It's a look down. Uh, you see them when you're diving, you see them in schools. Uh, they're beautiful. There's a beautiful uh, display of them in the Audubon Aquarium. Um, they are, however, very good to eat. They're very thin fish, so you know this is a this is a pretty good size one. So you're not going to get a whole lot of meat off of them. And the first thing we're going to do is fillet that, and then we're going to put it together in, in a kind of an Asian-style broth. And I've got some, uh, got some green curry paste, I've got some shrimp stock, I've got some uh, sliced mushrooms, I've got some local greens, I've got some rice noodles. And just go ahead and skim. Got a little shrimp stock, you can tell from the color it's got some tomato in it. I'm going to pour about a cup full of that in there. I'm going to add these mushrooms. A quarter teaspoon of curry paste is a lot. I'm going to put that in there. Just put it right on the fire. 
These are Vietnamese rice noodles. Um, they're in the refrigerated section. Um, they take about 10 seconds to cook. So they're really, they're just gonna go into our, our dish at the very, very last minute. Our broth is boiling. So uh, we, got, we got shrimp stock, we got a little bit of uh, green curry, and we've got some, uh, these are actually matsutake mushrooms we brought in for a party, but they could be any kind of mushroom. I'm gonna add half the lime. I'm just gonna go right in there with the, with the fish fillets. Now ordinarily when I poach fish, I'll bring the liquid to a boil, take it off the fire, add the fish. If I let this sit here for five minutes, the fish would be perfectly done. Okay, this, my liquid's come back to a boil. I'm gonna add the greens and I'm gonna add the noodles. All right, and that's all the cooking we need on that. Squeeze the lime juice. I'm going to garnish that with a little Thai basil out of my rooftop garden. And that's a, a quick soup. I'm trying to think of the name of it here as I go. It's a, it's a Tom Yum style broth with look down and rice noodles from GW Fans. And don't forget to check the GW Fins website to see about our upcoming cookbook. GW Fins has dinner items so fresh they print a new menu daily. Give them a call and tell them CT said to give you the best seat in the house. I am sure whatever was in the kitchen today was better than the last five spots we just stopped at. Fishing started off fantastic this morning and just kind of came to an end for a while. Number six, I'm feeling magic's gonna happen right here. Yeah, yeah, baby, he's beautiful. Damn, I don't do like eight back then. <laughs> oh, wait, why are you down there? Oh, Let's get this big back. fish in the boat, this big, big trout. <laughs> uh, I'd stay right back behind that crab ball back there, Jack. All right, a little short move from uh, one side of Bayou Terra Buff to the other. Just getting settled in. Water's a little saltier, but not a lot cleaner. So while we figure out these fish, why don't you take a short break? We'll see you in two and a half minutes. <laughs> Thank you for this keeper. Look at this, that's a sweatshirt trout. It is a keeper too. Not your lucky day, Mr. Speckle Trout. <laughs> oh, there you go. Good fish, nice red. Hang on, you got it? Hang, boss, that's beautiful. There he is. Come on back this way. <laughs> it is a submarine. Here you go. That is a tiny treble hook in that fish. <laughs> get him, get him. <laughs> got it, got it. Nice. Holy. Okay, Jack, I'll let you deal with that thing. No, this is you. <laughs> that is so sweet. That's, that's a marsh pumpkin right there. That's the great pumpkin right there, huh? That's the pumpkin patch. That's the whole patch. <laughs> he, uh, he is healthy. You are looking at roughly a 38 inch redfish, 38 inches. So let's do a little tackle talk here. This is a 37 inch, 38 inch redfish. It's a big son of a gun. Probably, it's 
pushing mid 20s, maybe a little more. Number six, treble hook. Not even a, a two times, not even a double strength. Just I was using it with small shrimp. We had smaller shrimp. So I wanted something light where that little shrimp could move around and not be too burdened by the hook. 20 pound test, 15 pound braid. Uh, that's spider wire ultra cast. So 15 pound test line, 20 pound test leader, a very light treble hook, and it had no problem handling a very large, a very, a very large, let's see here, I'm gonna trade up, I know buddy, just hang tight, you going, a very large redfish. Not one you would keep, so we will let him go, or her. Trout, trout did well, but redfish didn't want to give it up for us. But the, but the red fishing in Delacroix has been pretty strong. I, I get, say better than strong, unbelievably strong. Just, it's just it's not for me today, just, you know. You, put you a got banana. that, and bam, I can't make it happen. You put, a, uh, you put a banana in the boat or something? <laughs> <as well? laughs> I'll put a whole six pack of bananas in the boat. <laughs> Well, I think that the conditions are, are, are improving here. Things look like they're about to really pop. Certainly, there's enough fish for anybody to make a great day, great weekend. Uh, I know I had a great day, even though you got a little frustrated about things. I, I was pumped. I was pumped from the minute I got here. Well, you were pumped you know? last night when you I, were calling me. <laughs> <laughs> I was excited. But I, I got to tell you, though, I, I uh, this morning on the way over here, I, and I was telling Jay, I said, I, I, there's no way in the world it can be right, but my. My phone had, had bad catch on it. So what did the phone know, the, the app know that you and I didn't know, you know? And it wasn't a bad catch, we did well, but, but it wasn't what, what but we wanted But we wanted to have a slamming speckle like trout slamming. trip and a slamming redfish trip. Since when did the phone know more than we do about this area, huh? That technology. Yeah. yeah, the phone also has a clock on it. The clock on it says we're out of time. So that's our show for today. I hope you did pick up some tips on how to catch some fish in Delacroix out of the Sweetwater Marina when we were catching fish, which was most of the day. It just wasn't a perfect day, and Jack was a big baby about it, because I was <laughs> fine. I thought it was great. So, if we don't see you out of the water out here catching fish with us, then do us a favor, and please join us right back here on The Big Fish next time. Thanks for watching. See me trolling. <laughs> it's a little shallow. I don't know if you can see, but that's 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 just wet land. That's not really water. It's just kind of wet, wet land. land. I like that one. <laughs> that's the first. <laughs> Woo! Good sounds. Good sounds. I like it. I like it. <sighs> Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe, in, breathe, breathe out. <laughs> Don't let a fish get you fired up. <laughs>